The product of two numbers is 84. If the larger number is 5 more than the smaller number, what is the larger number? So we need to begin by defining our variables in order to write expressions to solve. So let's use x and y. x will be our larger number, and y will be the smaller number. So to begin, it says the product of two numbers is 84. So if we remember, our keyword here is product. And product means to multiply. So we know that we'll be multiplying the two numbers x times y. And it is, remember, means equals. So x times y equals 84. Now the second part of this problem says if the larger number is 5 more than the smaller number, so we know our larger number x is, again, meaning equals, 5 more. So if you have 5 more than something, you know that you add 5 to that something, and this something in this case is the smaller number, or y. So now we have our two equations, and we can solve using substitution. Notice that we already have one equation where a variable is by itself on one side of the equation and equals something else. So we know that we can take what x equals, x equals 5 plus y, and substitute that in for x in this top equation. So when we're doing so, if we plug 5 plus y into that top equation, we'll have 5 plus y times y equals 84. Now to continue to solve this we need to distribute this y to both terms within the parentheses so we're left with 5y plus y squared equals 84. Remember that we want to write this with the highest power first so y squared plus 5y equals 84. Now we also want this equation to be set equal to 0 so again let's rewrite this equation as y squared plus 5y minus an 84 because in order to get the 84 onto the left side of the equation we subtracted 84 from each side so it's now equal to 0. So now we're looking for two numbers that multiply to a negative 84 but add up to a negative 5. And the two numbers that will give us that are a negative 7 and a 12. So we can now rewrite this as y minus 7 times y plus 12 equals 0. Now we want to solve for y, so we set each of these equal to 0. So we have y minus 7 equals 0. So we add 7 to each side. So y equals 7. And y plus 12 equals 0. So subtract 12 from each side to get y equals a negative 12. Since we have solved for y, we need to check that that is what the problem is asking us to find. And notice that the problem asks, what is the larger number? So go back to where we defined our variables, and notice that our larger number is actually x. So we need to go one step farther and solve for what x would be. So we want to plug it back into the second equation. So, and this one, if y equals 7, x equals 5 plus y, and in this case y was 7, so we have x equals 12. On the second one, if y is negative 12, we have x equals 5 plus a negative 12, and so we have x equals a negative 7. Notice that negative 7 is not one of the possible choices, so our final answer would be x equals 12, or d.